Hey everybody, welcome to Taste This. So today I'm gonna make my son's favorite, which is vegetarian lasagna. So I've already got some of the stuff already prepped. I already pre-cut, I mean pre-cut. <laughs> I've already pre-cut some of the um, peppers, excuse me, and veggies. I've already pre-cooked the uh, vegan meat. Um, excuse me, I already pre-set my sauce. And, you know, a lot of people do it from scratch as far as their sauce. I kind of did it semi-homemade because, um, yeah, I don't, I just, look, lasagna in itself is work, okay? So, I didn't feel like making a sauce from scratch. So, this is where we're at. So, anyways, um, I don't really do ricotta and my son is vegetarian. So, this is not going to be vegan, okay? So, Look, get it together because my channel is vegan and vegetarian, so don't nobody be talking smack, okay? And he's coming. Get it get it together, boo. But anyway, so I don't like ricotta. My son does not like ricotta. This was even before I became like vegan veg vegetarian. I flip flop between the two, depending on my mood of the day, honestly. So yeah, so basically, um, since he doesn't like ricotta, I basically use cottage cheese and then I put an egg in it. And that kind of gives it the same kind of ricotta kind of vibe without without the taste. Because I feel like unless you make ricotta homemade, it's really not that good store-bought. So, mm, yeah, we didn't do that this time. So, anyways, I made my sauce. I put my seasoning in my sauce. It's on the stove over there. Um, I don't have time to be, like... I feel like it's messy and sometimes the noodles don't come out right when you boil the noodles first. So what I got was the oven ready Barilla lasagna um, noodles. So that's what we're using today. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I put the sauce in the pot first, as you can see. I kind of bring it up so you can see a little bit better. So there's the sauce. I put the sauce at the bottom. I put a little um of the cottage cheese so we finish that and we're just going to layer it and i am going to be using real cheese i mean my son sometimes it depends on what the meal is he's okay with vegan cheese um sometimes but when it comes to lasagna he would much have, rather i have real cheese so that's what i'm making and because he's vegetarian like it's not a big deal you know he can have it so we're just gonna layer it like this, like so. Um, a little bit more. Okay, okay. And honestly, when I made my sauce, I seasoned it to my liking. So I use a little um, sazon, a little bit of Italian seasoning, a little bit of Jamaican jerk, a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of everyday seasoning. Um, and then for sweetness, I just like a tad, like a pinch of agave, salt and pepper, and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Uh-oh, okay. So now I'm gonna put the meat. Give me a second. And if you hear that munching and crunching, uh, that's my Pomeranian, my dog Milo. He's finishing his food right now. So, I don't know if you can see all of it, but hopefully I don't have to make more meat because I used a package of the Gardein crumbles. So, I'm putting that on here. Like so, like that. And yeah, so we're just gonna basically, you know, the thing about lasagna is all about layering. And with the meat, I did put a little bit of peppers in there, a little red, green, and yellow peppers. I also got some fresh peppers. So I'm gonna, excuse me, put a little bit of the fresh peppers on here. So you see, I got um the purple onion as tab would say um the purple onion then i have yellow peppers i have my hair's already pre-washed by the way just so you know um and then i have red peppers and green peppers so we're just gonna you know da 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 
da da da da da da da da da da little sprinkle sprinkle across the board I probably should have cut these a little bit smaller because they're a little thick you know what I'm saying but you want to make it a little bit colorful so that's what I'm doing and I'm gonna sprinkle a little onion here and there and like that Okay, so that's that on that. And I also got to get the cheese. So I have a whole bunch of cheese. My son likes it really cheesy. So, ah! <laughs> I got a whole bag, a whole bunch of bags of different cheese. So, that's what I'm going to use. And for my sauce, I use um, Bertoli marinara, and then I use a little bit of Miss Organic, and then I use a little bit of, honestly, this is my favorite. Um, my mom always used to make spaghetti with this, always used to make spaghetti with this, and this is traditional basil classico. Classico is like, you can't go wrong with this brand when it comes to like sauce, okay? Like... This is a hitter. So these are the two sauces that I use to mix. <coughs> um, okay, so we're gonna add the cheese here. And we're gonna put sauce on top of that. So and I'm gonna use a little mozzarella. We're gonna put over here. Make it good. And honestly, you can put whatever you want in lasagna. Some people, you know, make it full of veggie with like eggplant and mushrooms and onions and peppers and garlic and da 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 da. I did forget to get garlic. Normally, I put a few garlic cloves in it because honestly, I do feel like garlic gives it that extra flavor. But I really can't have garlic all like that. So. I really wasn't checking for it so much. Oh, I think I messed this up. I did. Okay, I'm gonna need the scissors. Just bear with me one second. Okay. So we have the scissors here. Is this another mozzarella bag? I already did that. So we're not doing another one of those. No. I'm going to use the Mexican cheese. Like I said, it's going to be real cheesy. It's going to be good, girl. Okay. All right. Now, this one is mozzarella and provolone, and really, you can't go wrong with that. My dog is trying to find some scraps that bless his heart. All right, just a little sprinkle of that, and then we're going to put a little bit more sauce. Oh. <laughs> that was me just getting the excess um, meat off of the, um, the spoon. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. And honestly, what I have learned, there really is no right or wrong way to make lasagna. You just really like put whatever ingredients that you like or whatever ingredients that you have. And, you know, it's never turned out bad for me. So, <clears throat> It's all about what you like, you know, just like with anything with cooking. 
And I'm gonna use this sauce sparingly because again, I'm gonna have to um, layer this thing. So we're gonna try to smooth it over a little bit. Well, we kind of want it semi evenly coated. You know, nobody likes anything dry, at least not me. I don't want it too salty, but I don't want it like dry either. So that's that on that. Okay, and then I'm gonna add just another layer of noodles. And typically it's like three per layer. So I'm gonna do that like that. That like that, and then that like that. And then I'll put some more sauce on top of that. Just give it a light coating, you know, like so, like that. As you can tell, I have watched a lot of Tab's videos, and so I can incorporate some of her sayings because not intentional but you know it's a form of flattery so it's no big deal all right and just a little mix this around just a little bit more and then you also when you make your sauce make sure you taste the sauce you know, make sure the sauce tastes good by itself. That's highly important because your sauce is going to be the star player of, you know, your meal. Whether it's for lasagna or whether it's for spaghetti, the sauce is definitely the star player. Because if the sauce is trash, then the meal's not going to be good and that's not going to work. Okay, so... Uh, how messy am I? <laughs> I guess cooking is not cooking if you're not making a little bit of a mess. I'll clean that up as I go. And you're just going to pretty much use the same kind of layer as you used before. Just, you know. little bit kind of goes a long way you just kind of even it out I don't know if you can see but basically that's just what it this is what it's looking like it's a little messy right now but I'm telling you honey if I had cloves of garlic to set in the middle of this thing oh wait that garlic hit different baby it just it really do and it's it sucks that I can't really have it like that because like my stomach is like uh -uh. but it is definitely good to use in cooking so I'm gonna use more of the meat crumbles like that I may have to end up making more. I I sure hope not. <laughs> but you know, we're gonna see. Cause I want the <clears throat> the layers of meat to be generous. I wanna be st stingy on the meat, okay? Um so now we're gonna add the extra peppers and you just sprinkle it around. You know, there's no right or wrong on how you add it. Just add it however you like. <clears throat> and the more color that you add as far as vegetable-wise, um, the healthier and better it is. So I try to make things a little colorful. Plus, you know, peppers are good for you. So we're going to sprinkle in a few onions here and there. Technically, I really can't have onions either. But you know, um, I've been really taking a lot of 
kombucha as of lately and it's really been healing my stomach the lining of my stomach so a lot of the things um, I can slowly add to my diet not at full force but I'm noticing it doesn't aggravate me as much as it used to okay that's good that's good <clears throat> so what are we adding the cheese And there's no like perfect order to add the cheese. You can add it whichever way you like. Normally I would have bought Kobe Jack too, but I guess I wasn't even thinking about it. So we just gonna work with the mozzarella and the Mexican cheese and it's gonna be good either way. Okay. Good period. Give it a little extra boost of flavor before I add another layer. So I'm gonna put a little bit more sauce on top. I got a whole lot going on in this kitchen right now, but I think what we're gonna do is just probably one or two more layers. Ooh, tried it. Okay. So you kind of want to get it as evenly distributed as you can. And I think I kind of like rubbed off a little bit of cheese. So I'm just going to add a little bit. A little bit more. Oh, honey, when I tell you this minute, this is going to be so good. Like, you can't go wrong. Honestly. You really can't. It's a perfect, nice little Sunday dinner, you know, you could have for your family. Now, if you're a vegetarian, you could just really substitute this with, um, I'm not sure if they have vegan cottage cheese. I don't know. <laughs> you might want to do a little digging and a little research on that one. I, I can't recall that there is. That might be the last layer, y'all, because I think really not going to go any higher than that. And look, I'm going to use like barely one whole box. And this box is only like barely two dollars. So, you know. So again, we're going to sprinkle a little sauce on here. Yeah, this is definitely going to be the last layer. Like when I was eating meat, I remember this taking so much longer. But maybe because I really took the time to do the prep ahead of time. And I don't think I did that last time. Because honestly, the last time I made lasagna is when I was a meat eater. Um, there was only one time after that. I take that back. There was one time after that I did make a vegetarian lasagna. That was like years ago. Like, I have not made this in years. So... Honestly, this is really just going off of memory. 
and you know, just hoping it all comes out great. You want to make sure the sheets are evenly coated. This cooks perfectly fine in the oven. And I already, ooh, I thought I had my oven preheated, Lord. Okay. What they say to preheat the oven on 375. So I just put the oven on 375. It's going to take a few minutes to get to that point and I still have time because I still need to um I think I probably cut way too many vegetables but I can use that always in a salad or something <clears throat> okay so we have that evenly coated I'm probably not going to ever use this again so maybe you know this is a little bit waste but I'll find another use for it I'm sure I already put egg in it, so I don't know. Okay, so we have that. But for those, if you're not um, vegan or whatever, you're vegetarian and you don't like the taste of ricotta, this is definitely a good way to go because I've had a homemade ricotta and I actually liked it. You know, when it was like straight up Italian homemade fresh ricotta and it was quite delicious. Um, but when you get it at the store, honey, it is not the same. So to me, it's quite nasty at the store. So, yeah, if you like me and, you know, my son, which he doesn't care for it at all. I found a happy medium and you just put one egg in like a whole tub of ricotta cheese. I don't usually measure anything. I really just go by the spirit on how I feel. I'm one of those. So if you need exact measurements, I'm not your girl for that. So hopefully this is enough meat, but we're gonna make this, this meat thing work, baby. Okay. We gonna make it work. Don't want it to be stingy. Want it to be a generous amount. Okay, I think this was just enough. And basically, this is just a whole bag. I'm gonna show you the bag in a second. I want to make this a long video. I'm probably going to have to have another video of when it's done because honestly, my editing game, y'all, I don't know how to edit, okay? Like, I just don't know yet. I'm still, like, you know, a newbie to this Jusu game. I'm working with what I got, okay? So we're gonna put our veggies as a layer. Like some of these veggies are cooked in the meats and then I have some fresh ones that are just gonna cook in the oven and that's fine too. And if you find that you cut, like I just did, through way more veggies than you plan to, or that you actually need it you can always use it in like a salad later or you know another vegan or vegetarian dish that's going to cause for peppers to be involved so it won't be your efforts won't be for nothing you kind of just saved yourself some some hard work so we got a little red, enough of red and green. We're just gonna add a little yellow. And normally, sometimes I put mushrooms in it. So, you know, today I just don't really think to buy mushrooms, so I don't have any. Be quiet. Nobody's talking to you, and nobody's at the door. So relax, honey. Um, 
Yeah. So we're gonna add a little bit. Ooh, I'm low on sauce. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a little bit more sauce on top and then I'm gonna put the cheese and we're gonna really call it a day. I'm not gonna add another layer of anything. I think. I remember how I did this last time. I mean, again, there's no right or wrong way to do it. You just do it how you want to do it. And since I'm a little low on sauce, I don't have any more marinara sauce. What I might do is, you know what? I'm just going to add a little bit. I use all my marinara, but I do have my classical traditional sweet basil so i'm just going to add a little bit of that with into the mix lord i'm clumsy okay <laughs> sorry this kitchen like it's crazy right now so if y'all want to see Italian um, seasoning, which is organic. A little bit of Jamaican seasoning. Is this organic? It's not, but it's okay. And I usually use Himalayan salt, but I don't have any more, so it's my backup. Sea salt. Put a little pepper and then I'm gonna use a little bit of agave. Just a smidget. So how I do it is I normally heat up the sauce just a little bit. And this also got from Trader Joe's as well. So there you have it. Starting with a little bit of sauce that we need. Need a little bit more sweetness. That garlic was right strong. That's why it's important that you taste it, because you make sure the flavors are taken by it. And Parmesan cheese, just give it, gives it a little extra flavoring that I just happen to like, that's all. But you use whatever you like and whatever, you know, fish your taste bud. That's perfect. Okay. So we're going to turn you back over here. It's where the sauce and everything is popping. And the lasagna is hitting. Let me turn the stove off. Okay. Now, we cook in with fish grease. You just spread it over like that. Ah, ah, ah. Don't mind it all. Your 
yourself from opening it. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Shooting a video. Let me bring y'all a little bit closer. Sorry, this is not as professional as you will probably like, but y'all just know how to work for me, honey. I'm doing the best I can with what I got, okay? So, yeah, it's just like that. And so we're gonna add more cheese. Ooh, I really don't like how, oops, sorry, y'all. Okay, that's a little better. I don't think you can see the food or all like that. Jesus. <laughs> Technical difficulties popping. I'll see if I was good at editing. I would definitely edit that out. to where you can see what's happening so i'm gonna add you know like my head is cut off we're gonna add a little bit of cheese and again there's no right or wrong method to adding in cheese just to make it as good and delicious and as cheesy as you can I think I'm gonna have to make <laughs> some more sauce because I think I have to put another layer on top. Yeah, I do. So back over here, we're gonna make a little bit more sauce. Excuse my mess. So we're just gonna add a little bit more sweet basil sauce. Because just so you know, um, the majority of the sauce that I used was the organic um, Bertoli marinara sauce. I think I just kind of extracted all I can extract out of that. Or whatever little shake and razzle dazzle we can add, we're just going to do that. So I'm going to add the Italian seasoning like that. A little Jamaican jerk just because I like the flavor. And... A little bit of pepper and then I'll sprinkle just a smidge of salt. I really try to be, I don't usually add salt when I'm cooking a lot of the times because sometimes your herbs will give you enough flavor to where you don't need to. <clears throat> and then again for the sweetness, you just add a little agave. And just for a little bit this video is way longer than i want it to be so hopefully y'all don't mind <laughs> and you bear with me just a bit but yeah 
and a lot of times i'm a clean as you go cook but it's just a lot going on right now i'm just gonna have to Mm, that'd be a little too sweet. Try to even that out. I'm just gonna add a little bit more salt. Did you know? No, I did not. Mm -hmm. I just heard a knock. That wasn't me. Was it you? He like, well, I'm gonna knock with my fall. <laughs> yeah. Milo, get out of my room. Ah, ah, ah. See, this is real life and what goes on over here, okay? <laughs> so, you know, just like I taste tested it and it was too sweet, it's when he was it in. the reason why I stress taste testing your sauce because that's perfect. So you see why that's important. But you don't want it too sweet and you don't want it too spicy. You know, you want it just right to your liking. So back over here to the lasagna. We're going to sparingly add a little bit more sauce. Because at this point, baby, I'm trying to not use as much. You would think, well, Russia, why does it make more? more sauce well i don't want to be wasteful so i want to make sure i'm using just the right amount so i'm just going to use a little bit as i go and we're going to do it just like that okay so <clears throat> i'm going to add the other three layers on top of that and then i'm just going to add sauce on top of that. And then cheese. And you just basically just sparingly spread it around. So it's evenly coated. <clears throat> I don't know about a lot of y'all, but I'm a saucy girl. Again, I don't like it too saucy, but I don't like my stuff to be dry. So that's that on that. Okay, so now we're gonna add the cheese on the top. This is girl, it's the task, okay? <laughs> Let's shrink down so y'all can see me because I'm not the best camera person and the star of the show, okay? Um, but we're just mixing a little mozzarella, mozzarella and cologne on top. Mexican. Some Mexican cheese. Let's sprinkle that all over like that. You really kind of want to cheese it up on the top. So I'm going to add the regular mozzarella. And my oven is finally heated up to 375. So it is absolutely. There you have it. I don't know how many layers this is, y'all, but it is pretty layered and it's pretty cheesy. <laughs> it's gonna be damn good. But I asked about me. Okay. I'm just gonna season the top. <clears throat> I'm gonna add a 
little bit more Mexican cheese on the top. And then you want to make sure it's like very cheesy. But oh girl, this gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Y'all see that? It's very layered. Boom. Look at that. <clears throat> okay. I'm about to take y'all with me. Alright. So I'm going to put it in the oven. basically clean up a bit um <coughs> this video is already 40 minutes long so y'all i'm gonna wait until this lasagna get done then i will do a separate video of showing me eating it so you can see what it tastes like um and i can't wait because i know it's gonna be delicious um so yes make sure you support my channel i'm fairly new to youtube so i would appreciate all the love and support if you could definitely like my video emphasis on the like come on like your girl okay um like my video make sure you subscribe if you haven't already um share with your friends if you want um but that's pretty much how i ask for your support um if you want to donate to the channel i will have a cash app in the link below to my cash app so that way that helps support the channel with equipment you know because i do want to have it be a little bit more professional and maybe i can pay for an editor because i'm really i'm gonna be honest with you i'm not gonna be editing shit okay um yeah i'm just i i, I work in nine to five like i don't have time to be trying to figure out how to edit and all that she ain't doing that so yeah so i appreciate y'all watching i appreciate the love y'all have a happy sunday love you all bye